Okay, so here we are on page 123. This is on who and whom. Okay. Um, uh, I've given you guys a couple, well, suggestions when we talked in class, but let me just remind you of a couple things. Um, I always put this at the top of the page when I'm doing who and whom. First of all is to remember that who is the nominative case. Okay, so I'm going to put N-O-M in there. Who is the nominative, which means who is what you use when it's a subject or predicate nominative, okay? And whom is the one that is the objective. And so you're gonna use whom when it's the OP, DO, or IO. Now the other thing to remember here is that if you're looking to do the substitution, and I'll explain that as I go through some of these exercises, you substitute he for who and him for whom. Just remember, him has an M on the end of it and whom has an M on the end of it. If you remember to do those substitutions, you'll have a better chance at getting these right, okay? Um, I'd encourage you all to go find the office uh, clip where Michael and uh, Ryan Howard um, discuss the uh, who versus whom. Creed has a really helpful insight there, okay? All right, so our job for this is to identify the subordinate clause that the who is a part of by underlining it, here I've uh, boxed them, and then find out what the who is doing, okay? So, did you notice who the goalie was? The subordinate clause is who the goalie was and who in there is the subject, okay? The woman who wrote that book is a reporter. Well, who wrote that book is the clause, wrote is the verb, who or what wrote? Who wrote, so it's a subject. The boy with whom I was sitting, with whom I, am, I was sitting is the subordinate clause, and whom comes right after with, so we know it's the OP, okay? Um, Coco Chanel was a designer whom many others have imitated. Uh, whom many others have imitated is the subordinate clause. Imitated is the verb, who or what imitated? Many imitated, so that's the subject. Many imitated who or what? Many imitated whom. So that means whom there is the D-O. Okay, we enjoyed our visit with Mr. Cullen, whom we had not seen for months. Whom we had not seen for months is the clause. We had not seen, so um, had seen is the verb. Who or what had seen? We had seen. We had seen who or what? We had seen whom. So whom there is the D-O, okay? All right, let's go down to these. This is more like what you'll see on the quiz where I just give you parentheses and you got to pick, is it who or whom? So what I'm going to go through here is uh, tell you these and then, um, and then tell you what role who or whom was playing there, okay? So I wondered who the next volunteer would be. I'm going to go ahead and bracket the subordinate clause. Why not? It helps. Um, the next volunteer would be who. It has to be who because the verb is be, which means it's a linking verb. Who would be? The volunteer would be. The volunteer would be who or what? Who. So that means who is a PN nominative case. We go with who. We can't remember who played the leading role. Who played the leading role is the subordinate clause. It has to be who because who is the subject. Who is the one who played? Okay. Who has been selected as the team captain? It's got to be who. This one has a question mark, which is why we're not boxing a subordinate clause. It's not a subordinate clause. It's a question. Um, so here we have uh, the, the verb is has been selected. Who has been selected? Yeah, exactly. Who has been selected? So it's the subject. Dr. Brooks is a woman whom I greatly admire. We can bracket this one. Um, I greatly admire whom. She's the D.O. Okay. Do you know with whom Raskolnikov plotted. Oh dear, a good crime and punishment reference. Nice one, guys. Okay, so it's with whom Raskolnikov plotted. The verb is plotted, who or what plotted. Raskolnikov plotted. Raskolnikov plotted who or what. He plotted with whom. So that means whom is the OP. Comes right after the with. All right, Mr. Ms. Quarles. Whom, I've met at whom I met at trial is a reporter. I can bracket whom I met at trial. Um, the verb here is met. Who or what, what met? I met. I met who or what? I met whom. So that means it's the D-O. Okay. 
Now that's a case where I could substitute in he or him, right? Um, is it I met he or I met him? Well, it's definitely I met him. And sometimes, guys, you know, if you're writing who and whom like this in parentheses, you can put he and him right on top of them just as a way of reminding you to how to do the substitution, okay? Um, like, look back at number 10. Raskolnikov plotted with he or with him? Well, Raskolnikov plotted with him. Um, I greatly admire he or I greatly admire him? Well, it's I greatly admire him. Okay, now we look here. Who is your favorite poet? Um, would it be he is your favorite poet or him is your favorite poet? Well, it's definitely he. Or excuse, yeah, he, so it's who, because that's the subject there. Have you decided whom you will vote for on Thursday? This is the subordinate clause. Um, you will vote for whom? So it's the OP there. We could also do the substitution. You will vote for he or you will vote for him? Well, it's definitely him, so it's got to be whom. Okay, whom can I rely upon to take care of my pets while I'm on vacation? All right, so the clause here is, oh, actually, no, it's not a subordinate clause. Again, it's just another question, so we don't have to bracket anything. Notice the ones I'm not bracketing are all questions because they won't be subordinate clauses. So here we have to rephrase it. I can rely upon whom, right? Uh, and we can do the substitution. Is it I can rely upon he or I can rely upon him? Well, it's definitely him. So we got to go with whom and it is an OP. Carol knows who won the contest. All right. Uh, one is the subject. Who or what won? Well, it's who. So who is the subject? And you could also do the substitution. Is it he won the contest or him won the contest? Well, it's definitely he. So that means you go with who. Remember, he and who go together and him and whom go together, okay? All right, that's page 123.